Oh, it's a game where you have to take care of a virtual pet. You'll have to feed him, wash him, and entertain him. You can play many games such as Hill Drive, Food Drop, Water Hop, and Jet Pool. I'm gonna teach an AI to play these cards, why not? And to the first game, Hill Drive. This is basically a clone of Hill Climb Racing. You must drive as far as possible while avoiding crashing or running out of time. Let's set up the car. I begin by adding gravity with the rigid body component. And now everything is working as it should. Well, kinda. Next I made the car drivable and gave both who and the hamster a wiggly head. To make the procedurally generated terrain I implemented Berlin Noise, an algorithm that uses maths to generate hills. It is used in games like, you guessed it, Terraria to make hilly terrain. Then I added a bar timer, a score counter and a high score counter. The agent uses Raycast to observe his environment and has information about his velocity and rotation. He gets a positive reward for going forward and a negative reward either for going backwards or crashing into the ground with his head. After each attempt, its actions are evaluated and his neural network is adjusted using an algorithm called Proximal Policy Optimization. This process helps prioritize actions with good outcomes while discouraging those leading to negative consequences. Oh and by the way, I'm going to be using the Unity Amolation toolkit for the training because that's what the cool kids use. Let's go. At first, the agent doesn't have a clear goal in mind, so it tries random actions and then gets ultimately stuck. Then it begins the second episode by driving forward, but then decides he'd had enough of this and goes back until he falls. The same thing for episode 3. In episode 4, however, the agent learned from its mistakes and is now driving forward. It also managed to get its first clock and a new high score. On episode 11, the agent managed to get a high score of 45. Next on the list, we have Food Drop. Now this game is this simple. Eat good things, avoid bad things, that's it. First I added movement. Next I made the food spawn randomly on top. If the player hits food, he gets a reward and the score goes up. But if he hits a bad thing, he gets a punishment and the game resets. Like in the previous minigame, the agent gets to see his environment through Raycast. It also has information about his current exposition, so if he goes out of bounds, it'll get a punishment, not to the training. For the first few episodes, the AI doesn't know what to do and is trying random actions to try and make sense of its environment. Then when he's seen, the agent consistently collects food. He still makes some mistakes though. 12 minutes in, he begins avoiding the bad things. Twenty minutes in it finally crossed the 50 score mark. Great, let's see if it can cross a hundred. Twenty-two minutes in 99 score. And then it failed again and again and again. And finally, after 36 minutes managed to get exactly a hundred. There's still a room for improvement, but I think that's a good number. And now to the Flappy Bird ripoff, Jet Pool. All you have to do is not hit the damn pipes. You've probably seen a thousand Flappy Bird ripoffs already, so here's the game in Unity. The reason there are five poses in the scene is to speed up the training process. Each agent is his environment through Raycast. After playing this game for around 10 minutes, I managed to get a high score of 7. Let's see how the AI does. For the first few minutes, the agents are spamming the up button, heading into the ceiling. Fast forward a bit, and they are out of the starting area. They still bump into the ceiling. Then after training, they manage to go through the first pipes. Then they break my personal high score, and then they get 20 score. At this point, I stopped the recording, but left the training in the background. Let's see how they perform. So I left it running for quite some time now, and it managed to get a high score of 499, which is uh, great, I, I guess. To the last minigame. 
water hub. This might be the only one that is in a ripoff. You must hop from floater to floater without falling down into the water. You can either jump two floaters or one single floater at a time. The player can gain more time by collecting the time increase items, aka clocks. Here's the game in Unity. I've forgotten to hit the record button, so here's the trained agent instead. As you can see, the agent is flawless this time and only inevitably loses to lack of time. So if I only slightly increase the chance of clocks, it'll live forever. And there you have it, an AI that plays Boo. I know I have a ton of other mini games to remake, but this one project took enough time already. Subscribe.